Here's a tradition that we love, the Benedictine military yes. cadets. Let's see, is it gonna happen? I there know it is. Yeah, there they go. It was a hug, we didn't get a full kiss on that one. So no kisses that yet? That was a hug. They asked them potentially not okay. to kiss, but every year there seem to be a few. That well, I see there. some kisses. I see some kisses on that young man's face. Yeah. But I guess the hug is respectful. That's you know? a very respectful way to do it. So, no, there's a few runners. You can see them. See some of the moms and some of the girls coming out on the right side there on the kiss cam. Yeah, on moms. Like Hostelow kiss cam. Mom's like, there that's my go. baby. I'm gonna give him oh, a big kiss. He got oh, two or three from that he? young lady. She, she liked him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a tradition you really can't stop. We understand some of it, but for the cadets from Benedictine, yeah. absolutely. It's some of their, that's their highlight of walking in the parade. And for the moms who run out there to embarrass their sons <laughs> and give them, and they wear that bright red lipstick for this very moment. Where do you get lipstick that red and that bright? Do they just bring it out for St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> it seems that way. Well, you want it to be seen. You want it to be noticed. You know, Joanne toned hers down with just a little did, pink a little for your cheeks, but that's the bright red. I remember seeing Chris Hummer's daughter, Megan Slats, I believe last year, and she layered herself up with as much lipstick as I've ever seen any one woman wear. And you'll get caught on our camera because I think that's the same year that we saw Megan and Rache run out and we go, wait, whoa, wait a that's minute. That's right. Those are our girls. <laughs> yeah, Rache was out there. Rache's not kissing anybody this year. She's walking. She's walking, but then she manages to find her way back through <laughs> to give a cadet a kiss and that was a sweet one that was they see all she wants a yeah, picture that's, too yeah that's her everything. son you can tell they look just alike look at the smiles on those guys faces when they get kissed no matter what the tradition is that's the best part for them is they just want they at least want that one set of lipstick right there and to see it all caught on camera and folks even have out their personal cameras to catch a capture oh, the moment absolutely some of the best pictures joanne got some great ones in the years past of some of the girls kissing and you know, it's just a quick flash moment, but it's so special for everybody. Now, Benedictine has been a part of this parade since 1902. An interesting story to be told is BC has the number one sports program in Georgia and is full of tradition for the young cadets that attend. Yeah, their football team obviously excellent again this year. Did not win the championship, no. but they did play very, very well. Uh, among those others, the baseball teams were Farmer doing his job, so. About 367 cadets marching today. Can you believe that? That's a lot wow. of cadets out there. And congratulations, I saw a couple of them just got into the U.S. Naval Academy as well, which is quite an honor for that. They do a great job in, uh, in educating everybody along with the sports program and the rest of the school that they install. Congratulations to them. These ladies must have tubes and tubes of lifted. <laughs> They came with at least three or four, so. Well, you know, if the military doesn't just really want them kissing the third, I think they've got to use it all up on Benedictine cadets. There you go. Some of them are smiling, some of them have a straight face, and some of them are like, Mom, really? Yeah. <laughs> it depends if it's like the girlfriends kissing them, it's okay. The moms were starting to get a little bit questionable on. 